And now, for our final award of the day, the Sydney Powers Memorial Award, would you please give a warm welcome to Julie Garvin, President of Roxana Oil Company. Julie? Good afternoon. You know him as Marlon Downey, a man of integrity, leadership, enormous accomplishments, and countless exploration successes. I know him that way too, but I also know him in another way. I know him as dad. And this is one of the proudest moments of my life, to be here to honor my father in the presence of all our family, friends, and colleagues as he receives the Sidney Powers Medal. I am not planning on reciting his resume and the impressive list of all his awards and publications. This was published in the AAPG Bulletin, and I hope you enjoy reading it. What I would like to do is share my perspective on what he's contributed to all of us in his industry. First as his daughter, growing up through the evolution of his career, and later being part of this industry, and now working side by side with him at our family oil company. As you might imagine, our childhood was different than most. Dad's love of geology permeated our lives. We didn't go to Disneyland. We got to go to Yellowstone, the petrified forest, camping, hunting, and fishing. Dad always carried a rock hammer and a hand lens with him, and we learned how to get a clean face on a rock by licking it. I'll bet we were the only family in the neighborhood with a real chemistry set in the garage, a rock tumbler and a frame seismic line with a beautiful anticline and a flat spot. So it's not surprising that three out of six of us kids entered this industry and all are involved in some way with our family oil company. When I entered this industry in 1982, I soon realized that I wasn't the only one that thought my dad was pretty special. As many of you may know, he's been twice honored as a living legend in this industry. He's helped create enormous value during his tenure at Shell, Pecton, and Arco through large resource additions at low finding cost and through his common sense solutions to complex business problems. He's probably best known for teaching all of us the importance of the business side of exploration, that first you must be technically excellent and capable of seeing things different than others in order to find oil. But most importantly, you must be able to show you can make money doing it. He also taught us that failure in this business is part of taking risk, and that you must be able to take risks to make money. And the key is to learn from our failures and minimize them. That's why he was one of the first to insist on post-mortems on all dry holes. But I think what elevates and differentiates Dad beyond the level of a highly successful businessman is his regard for the human element of this business. He may have been the first to come out with the notion of the value of people. Back when the exploration staff was just considered a large overhead expense and the first thing cut during tough times. I'd like to read a quote from him from what I regard as a landmark paper written in 1992 titled, It All Begins With People. He said, profitable exploration requires wise investment of risk capital in people's ideas. Making the point that you can use all sorts of fancy risk management techniques, but if applied to poor exploration ideas, they won't create an iota of value. And in order to create great exploration ideas, you must invest in people and provide an environment that stimulates innovation. Well, we all know this now, but that was 17 years ago. He was also 
before his time in regard to women in this business, sending the first female geologist in charge of a Shell helicopter field crew in Alaska, the first woman geophysicist on a Shell seismic boat, and assigning women to positions of leadership in foreign countries without regard to local prejudices. This had a profound impact on me growing up as it made me realize that a woman could succeed if you worked hard and you were good at what you did. He's been a role model for all of us through his charity and service to this industry. He's given his time at SMU, University of Oklahoma, and his alma mater, University of Nebraska. He's served on numerous committees, corporate boards, the AAPG Foundation, twice as distinguished lecturer and our AAPG president in 2000, 2001. For him and for the profession and the industry, it truly has been a wonderful life. accomplished so much but from my perspective and I know you all agree it's his incredible warmth down-to-earth style his unquestionable honor and integrity that makes us all feel very lucky to be associated with him it's why we honor him today ladies and gentlemen this year Sidney Powers Memorial Award winner my dad Marlon Downey. <laughs> Now I see why it's important to have children in your old age. <laughs> Wasn't that nice? Uh, I wanted to say just two thank yous. Firstly, to my family, who are here in the front rows with me. Uh, you've met Julie Garvin. Uh, her husband, Mike Garvin, is here in the audience in the very front row. And my daughter, Karen Mitchell, her husband, Alan, in the very front row. My three other sons, my son, Justin, my son, Alexander, my son, Nicholas, and of course, my wonderful wife, Maria. The second group that I wanted to say thank you to are my friends and associates in the audience because all of my friends know things that I do not know. Each of my friends 
has talents that I lack. Every one of my friends has wisdom that I seek. And any successes that have made me who I am are because I've borrowed them from my friends and my family. So I say, thank you, family. Thank you, friends. Thank you all.